afraid Miss Raymond will go off and leave her with one left. Ooh, I bet she hit the roof when she found out that the cook quit this morning. Well, she just doesn't know how to treat help, that's all. Oh, no. Did I tell you when she first came into this house, she told me to go out and dust off that tree by the dining room window? Can you imagine such a thing? And me with osteoporosis. <laughs> I'm not dusting off any tree for anybody. She said, you mean you refuse to dust it? But you do so refuse. Well, you're done right. I'm not dusting off any tree. I said, that tree does, won't die from a little bit of dust. I said, we'll be dust ourselves soon enough. Is everything oh. ready for dinner? Where's Mrs. <laughs> oh, you know. What's her name? The cook. Oh, I thought Miss Raymond told you. Flotilla quit this morning. <laughs> what? Well, how on earth am I supposed to... Well, good riddance to that one. Uh, Mrs. Harold, you can call the Marion Agency first thing Monday morning. I will, but Miss Howard said she'd have to see you before she sent any more servants. Well, there have been so many already. There was Sally and Irene and Mary. Oh, and little Mabel. Yes, and little Mabel, too. She said she'd have to find out what's the matter before she sends any more. She ought to have a few of them cooked for her. Then she'd know what's the matter. <laughs> well, what are we going to do for dinner tonight? Oh, Lottie's taking care of that already. I'm a good cook, Mrs. Craig. Honest. I made my best specialty. You won't be disappointed. I hope not. This is a very important dinner party. <laughs> it could mean a big promotion for Mr. Craig. I don't want anything to go wrong. And by the way, Mrs. Harold, where is that imported French marmalade I had imported especially from France? <laughs> it's important, you know. <laughs> It's from overseas. Well, I can't find it anywhere. I had it hidden away in the cupboard, and it's completely disappeared. Well, it didn't just jet up and it tore itself out. <laughs> Are you telling me with everything else, I also have to worry about a jam thief in my house? <laughs> Mama wants to know who stole the jam. Who's been in her nice clean kitchen? Who stole the chair? Was it Sally or Irene or Mary? Was it little Mabel who took it off the table? Mama wants to know who made that mess. Mama's gone to keep some teeth in. Who's been in her nice clean kitchen? Who's had the jack? Was it Sally or Irene or Mary? Was it Mary or Mabel? Who took it off the table? Mama wants to know who made that mess. Mama's gonna kick some teeth in if you don't Mama wasn't looking When the stuff was took in Better take it on the land Who stole the jam? Who's in a mess? Raymond. <laughs> 
first. If Miss Raymond can't have dinner at the regular hour, she can just wait for it. But she's hardly eaten a thing all day, the poor little thing. <laughs> and what with her being so upset and all that... Really, I... Lottie, I wasn't aware that my cousin had confided in you! No! <laughs> Sorry about everything lately. Well, that's not good enough. I refuse to put up with your stupidity and clumsiness any longer. But, 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 Mrs. Craig! I want you to leave immediately. Oh, no! Mrs. Carroll will send her the wages. Oh, no! Minus the cost of the cup. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> 